Hi, welcome to another math tutorial video by Educator Singapore and today we are looking at the differentiation of exponential functions. So the differentiation of exponential function by itself, right, if you have a function of the form e to the power x, it's pretty simple and the differentiation of it, it's e to the power x, just, it's completely unchanged. But if you have something of the form e to the power fx, how would you go about differentiating that? So when we have something of the form e to the power fx, like we see over here, uh, we shall first go back to a concept we learned earlier called the chain rule. So let's just take fx to be something called u. So you remember according to the chain rule, you could have write, written down dy dx. Now where dy y over here is if I write down y is equal to e to the power f of x, this is what we're trying to d uh, differentiate. So dy dx could be written as dy du times du dx, right. Now du dx, now dy du is simply the d du of e to the power u times du dx is d dx of f of x. Now since we don't know f of x, we have just assumed uh, like a general function, we shall not be able to derive this right now, but only when we have a problem. But uh, d e d u is, is sorry, d d u of e to the power u is just e to the power u. So my final answer would be d dx of x now u is f of x so we can just replace it with f of x. So basically when we get a function of the form e to the power f x the, de the derivative of that is given by the e to the power f x which unchanged times the derivative of f x. So we shall just look at uh, an example just to illustrate this point. Okay. So let us just start with the simple problem. This problem doesn't look that simple if you look at it it looks quite scary but uh, suppose your y is equal to now this problem by itself and if they ask you you have to find dy dx of this it looks quite scary by itself but if you just use indices I mean this is like basic problem this actually cleans out pretty well and see it how, how well it cleans out So all you end up with is y is equal to e th 3 times e to the power 2 minus x. Now that's quite clean. Now we're going to try to apply this formula again. So dy dx would be the function itself unchanged. I mean remember the 3 comes out. The 3 comes out beforehand and we are all we are doing is trying to differentiate this function because 3 is a constant, it just comes out. So 3 to the power, that, that cons the function unchanged, e to the power 2 minus x times the derivative of fx. And the derivative of fx is just minus 1 in this case. So my final answer is minus 3 times e to the power 2 minus x. This is my final answer. Okay. Uh, let's look at another example where we can find out. So suppose we get y is equal to x plus. Let's look at y is equal to x plus e to the power 2x divided by e to the power x. Now, if you look at this, I mean, we can simplify this of this form, get it to the form. Right. Now we're going to find the ddx of this thing. ddx of x e to the power minus x plus e to the power x. Now we're going to use something we learned before. For this kind of thing, we have to use the chain rule. This one is just very straightforward. This is just e to the power x. So now if we use the chain rule in this one, this one works out to be, the f if, you, if you differentiate the first function, and leave the second function unchanged plus leaving the first function and differentiating the second function we get from this and from this we get so putting it all together we get something of the form
So this is my final answer. So in this video we learned how to deal with uh, the derivatives of uh, exponential functions and their different forms. Thank you for watching this video.